Curtin Center for Transformative Work Design is passionate about researching ways to transform the workplace of the future, creating better lives for workers, better outcomes for organizations, and a better society for all. One of our projects, we're looking at the extent to which people uh, use their skill sets as part of their job and also to which extent they kind of learn uh, new skills. This matters because um, it sort of impacts on their well-being but also their performance. And one of the things that we find is that actually there are huge differences on um, how people sort of grow over time in learning new skills. So some people have like a flat trajectory or some actual decline in their skill use and we find factors that sort of can explain that. In this project, we are tackling a very fundamental question. Um, that question is, what is work design in entrepreneurship? So what we've done is we've um, pulled thousands of ratings from uh, online job ratings sites. And so what we're looking at are text responses of what's good about my job, what's bad about my job, and what could be improved. We can draw conclusions about what work it's currently like in startups and then we can start to pull from best practices and work design to then make recommendations about how the, that work can be improved and hopefully as they grow they'll be able to scale up uh, good jobs for the future. We developed an intervention of work design in which we asked individuals to reflect the quality of their work on a daily basis and we found that this simple reflection intervention significantly raised their awareness of work design and motivated them to engage in crafting behaviors such as increasing the structural resources that they have. And we found that this simple intervention also relate positively to a performance improvement. I'm part of a, a large team that's working on setting up a longitudinal study and we're actually looking at the impact of work across the lifespan and careers. We're looking at how work can impact health and well-being, cognition, identity, memory, um, how it might be protective of people in older age when they actually retire and how to keep them well. We think the findings and studies will help um, influence how we might actually design jobs in the future. Our research is part of a larger initiative called CIPAR, Centre for uh, Excellence in Population Aging Research. Uh, CIPAR brings together research institutions across Australia as well as associate and partner investigators across the globe, industry and government to tackle main challenges as associated with population ageing. One of the aspects for this overall project is um, developing a benchmarking survey, surveying workers within Australia and getting their perceptions about their um, the work environment, such as the characteristics of their job, social supports, and also organizational policies. So the results of this will be able to be used to compare these specific organizations that we're working with and give them an idea of how they're doing compared with the average across, across Australia. By uh, supporting actual interventions, we are going to make a direct contribution to uh, organizations being able to uh, better retain and improve the performance of their uh, employees. I am leading an initiative for the Centre's Impact Collaboratory called Thrive at Work. This Thrive at Work initiative is a groundbreaking program that gives West Australian organisations the knowledge and tools to design, implement and sustain healthy, high-performing work environments. With the support of the Mental Health Commission of WA and actually input from 50 plus organisations to date, we're developing a suite of resources grounded in good work design that will see workers and organisations thrive.